This video is brought to you by the Disc Golf Depot, largest selection and best prices in the Pacific Northwest. Check out discgolfdepot.com for more information. What's up YouTube? Welcome to my review of the Dynamic Discs Classic Super Soft Warden. It's a brand new plastic type on the market from the Trilogy brands, available in Westside Discs, Dynamic Discs, and Lat 264 has various molds available in this, in this new super soft plastic type. Uh, I'm going to kind of compare some of the other plastic blends as well uh, in this video so you can get kind of a, an overall idea of what to expect from the different options available to you And because uh, I know not everybody has the opportunity to handle and feel these discs in person so I'm trying to give you guys an, an idea of what you might expect um, from the different Trilogy plastic blends in terms of putters um, and I'll also have my normal full review of this particular uh, mold which is the Warden from Dynamic Discs. Uh, big thank you to the Disc Golf Depot for sponsoring this video. Um, if you're in the Portland, Oregon area, definitely recommend to go check out the Depot. They have the best prices and selection in town, hands down. Um, ton of great stuff over there for sure. Uh, if you're not in Portland, give them a call. Anything they have in stock, they can pack it up, ship it out to you. Um, just let them know I sent you. Let's get into the video. So take a look at this guy first of all. It's 173 grams, just so you know. Dynamic discs, warden, cool like multi-foil stamp on this guy. There it says classic super soft. And there are your flight numbers. So two, four, zero, and then 0.5 for fade. We will talk about those a little bit later in the flight portion of this video. Uh, pretty flat top on this disc for sure. It's got just a kind of a classic rounded, very smooth putter type shape to it. Nothing terribly remarkable. Um, I'll throw this uh, judge up next to it just so you guys have an idea of the differences between the two. Um, they're very similar except the judge uh, kind of the rim comes down into a bead there so it makes it a little bit more rounded on the outside where the warden just kind of has a smooth slope down to the bottom of the rim because the, the judge has a bead, the warden doesn't. I made a video about this recently but just as another quick tip here in, in this video if you're not sure what a bead is, is this uh, this bump here on the bottom of the judge, that's a bead. The warden does not have a bead. Just as another quick beginner tip in the middle of this video. Um, there's your little side-by-side -side rim, uh, rim profile comparison. So let's look at this plastic type. First of all, as you watch applying pressure from my thumb, you can see what starts to happen with this thing. You can bend the rim, which is pretty rare for a, for a disc where you can actually just bend the rim like that. Um, it depresses under the thumb like crazy. As you can see, you can see my thumb like popping through there on the bottom. Um, and it's just extremely soft, so you can bend it in half very easily. You can fold it up uh, into like, uh, you know, like that, no problem. I'm sure the more you do that, the more it'll kind of put bends and warps in the uh, flight plate. Um, there's basically no way, in my opinion, that this thing's going to uh, stay in shape over time anyway. It's going to get some, some warps and bumps and you know, uh, dents and stuff in the in the flight plate in particular just being so soft there's no way it's going to stay uh, in the same shape for forever um, but yeah extremely almost like liquid kind of softness to it and uh, incredibly grippy I mean this thing grips like crazy as you can see I mean if you grab it with some with some pressure it's, it's ridiculous how soft this thing is um, let's take a look at some other plastic types so here is the uh, BT Soft, same as Classic Soft or Zero Soft. Um, this stuff is probably my overall favorite plastic blend um, out of the Trilogy brands. Personally, I like the soft, kind of rubbery, grippy stuff. It's not quite as grippy as the Super Soft. It doesn't give under the thumb quite as much, and it doesn't bend quite as much. You know, it's, it's harder to, to taco it for sure. Um, so it's nice and grippy, soft, it still kind of sits and, and lands pretty pretty strong, but it also holds its shape a little bit better. So this is probably my favorite overall blend. Great feel on the hand, love the BT Soft, uh, you know, Zero Soft, Classic Soft, great plastic type for sure. Um, so there's that. And then uh, in between the soft and the hard would be medium or blend. Again, I don't have one of those to show you guys, um, but this is the uh, Classic Hard. So you can see it doesn't bend really at all. You got to put a lot of pressure on it to get it to, to move at all. And uh, under the thumb, it, it you know, you can see it barely indents there, um, but really not very much at all. So one quick aside, I will say, 
is that in terms of like high level players, you're not going to see hardly any of them with one of these in their bag. Uh, the classic super soft. And if they do have one in the bag, it's probably for like risky situations where they want to lay up to the basket, but they don't want anything to skip or stand up and roll. That's probably what they're going to use it for. Um, most high level pros use the hard plastics. Um, they're a little bit more consistent in terms of putting. They come out of the hand in the same in the same manner every time. They're nice since they're so rigid. You know, you can just get that same consistent, clean release. Um, so yeah, most of the top pros out there in the world are using the hard plastics for their putters. Um, with this guy, especially given the fact that the rim bends as much as it does, um, if you're trying to putt with it, there's a little bit more variables in terms of how it comes out of your hand and therefore the trajectory it'll take towards the basket. So that's something to think about. But this plastic type does have benefits. Um, one I just touched on, that it sits down and it stays where it lands. You throw it, it comes in, it lands, it grabs the ground, it grabs grass and doesn't, doesn't skip. Uh, or want to really stand up and roll too much. It's a very nice soft landing disc where you can get it to stick where, 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 it's, where it lands. Great for layups and approaches where you want it to just get close to the basket and you don't want to have to worry about it sliding too far past. That nice texture, the softness to it, the grippiness makes it kind of grab the ground. It'll grab the chains a little bit better. Um, it'll absorb some of the impact of the chains and drop down to the bucket. Um, also, uh, a, a major benefit for it as a driver and approach disc for me, and something that I've been mentioning uh, in terms of the soft magnet, uh, you know, recommending that disc for many years, is that if it hits something like a tree on a th on a drive, it'll kind of eat some of that impact, and it won't want to kick off and continue spinning and gliding off the uh, off the fairway too much. So generally, it'll hit something, it'll absorb some of the impact, and it should drop, you know drop down a little bit better than uh, some of the more stiff discs. You could hit something and it could kind of continue spinning, take that kick and kind of bounce off into one, another direction. Um, another major benefit of the uh, super soft plastic is cold climates. You guys live up in the north there, like, you know, you're playing ice bowls or you just play out in the snow. You obviously don't want this color for that, but if you're playing out in very cold climates, um, out there when it's, when it's, when it's really frigid, this plastic will feel uh, harder than it does now. Like if you carry this thing around on a summer day, um, it's ridiculous how floppy and soft it is. In the winter time, it'll probably feel much more like this plastic, the, the BT Soft, maybe even more like a medium feel depending on how cold it gets. So that could be a major benefit of it as well. So let's get into the uh, little review of the the warden itself um, I like the plastic type we talked about that it's got a good grip to it good feel I don't mind throwing the soft plastic I feel like I can release it pretty pretty consistently I didn't test this thing as a putter all that much just because putting is such an individual thing everybody has their own style and and way of, of doing it that doesn't really translate so much um, so I mostly test putters as approach discs and drivers uh, short range drivers this thing was actually more stable than i expected in those terms um it's still you know the the three first flight numbers seem dead on not very much turn to it you know slow decent glide for a putter but i would put the fade at about a two maybe two and a half three um it faded pretty strong it held a hyzer very nicely better than i expected it to i could throw it down a little hyzer it would kind of flip up flat and hold very straight, but still have a pretty significant finish to it. I was surprised by the finish uh, and the amount of fade that it had, to be honest. Um, I could throw it about as hard as I wanted to off the tee, and it didn't seem to want to flip very much. It would just go very straight and have a soft finish. And if you throw it up high on a hyzer, it held it all the way and had a nice, uh, strong fade at the end of the flight. I'm not really sure if that's representative of, of the Warden in general. I kind of don't think it is. Um... Uh, but I do kind of think that maybe it's the plastic type. It's just a theory that I came up with w during testing is that maybe since it's so soft It doesn't want to kind of continue spinning as much as a more rigid disc So maybe like in the air it kind of wobbles a little bit more Therefore it doesn't continue to spin and as it slows down it drops out a little bit more dramatically That could just be you know, I'm not sure if that's true or not. That's just a theory that I came up with but I was can uh, definitely uh 
surprised by the amount of fade I was getting out of this particular disc. So, uh, great consistent upshot disc. Um, not, you know, uh, just if you want to throw something on a soft hyzer, get to stick, land by the bucket. It was great at that. Nice straight flying, uh, relatively stable, straight stable, with a nice finish uh, off the tee for, for short range drives. And a really solid overall short range disc. I think the main thing that you want to carry something like this for, for would be colder climates, like we said, or those, uh, those times where you want to maybe give it a, a nice run as a putt or, an, or a layup kind of approach shot, but you don't want to worry about it skipping and like going too far past the basket. You just want it to kind of stick where it lands be a good option for you. Thanks very much to Disc Golf Depot again. Thanks so much to you guys for watching. I know it's a little bit of a long video, but I want to kind of break down the different plastic types as well. And uh, I'll check you guys later. Cheers.